Good morning children. Welcome back to the Google Classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School, Guru Ayur. I hope all my dear children are very safe and happy at home. So let's move to our lessons. We already studied the first poem, A House, A Home. Today we will discuss the second poem, The Kite. The poem The Kite is written by Harry Ben. Harry Ben is an American screenplay writer. Means he is engaged in or involved in writing scenes to the films or other visual medias. And he is also known as children's author. So let's move to our uh, poem The Kite. Let me read the poem for you. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. Then soars like a ship with only a sail. As over tides of wind, it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls. Then seems to rest as wind falls. When string goes slack, you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. But a ragdoll thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree. Written by Harry Ben. So the poem The Kite is written by Harry Ben and in this poem he tells us the movement of a kite. How a kite is flown in the air. So look at the first lines. It says how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. On the blue means clear sky or blue sky. And in the blue sky, it looks so bright. So when this newly made kite, when we see the kite flying in the blue sky, it looks so bright and beautiful. It's, a, it's greatly a beautiful view. Now come to the next lines. With a dive and a dip. Dive means to dive into the water. If someone is drowning in the water, and if you want to rescue or help that person, how do you do? You jump into the water with raising your hands and putting your head first, then the other parts of the body. So you dive into the water and rescue that person. Now what do you mean by dip? You dip uh, biscuits into the tea and eat. So dip is letting something into the water. So this kite, how does it moves? How does it fly in the air? It dives and dips in the air. And while it dives and dips, it snaps its tail. Snaps means it produces a sharp cracking sound. Because this kite it is flying with the it is flying with the help of the wind. So it's moving so fast along with the wind. So when it's moving, its tail produces a cracking sound, a sharp sound. And then it soars like a ship. Soars means it flies high. It flies so high in the air like a ship. Then it soars like a ship with only a sail. You know the boat, it moves with the help of a sail. Sail is a white clothing on the boat and the sail helps the boat or the ship to move in the water it uh, catches the wind the sail it catches the wind and helps the ship to move on the waters so similarly the kite also soars 
it fly high in the air like a ship and who helps it to move its tail its tail helps to move so with the help of the wind and the tail the kite it flies so high in the air and the tail it functions like a sail sail of a boat or ship so both has the same function the say the uh, tail it helps the kite and the sail it helps the boat as over tides so wind it rides so just like a ship which moves on the water how it moves it moves with the help of the waves with the rising and the falling of waves we feel like the sea has developed hum because the ship moves on the waves with the, along with the waves just like the ship it sails along with the waves up and down fall and rise similarly the kite also dives and dips in the air it rides in the air and climbs on the crest climbs means it flies so high crest is on the top of a hill or mountain so the kite it flies so high to the height it can reach we feel like it is climbing to the crest with the help of a gust gust means sudden rush of wind with the force of the wind it flies so high and then we feels like it is going to take rest then seems to rest as wind falls we feels that it is taking rest why because the wind falls the wind has in that much force to help the kite to fly so the kite comes down or comes back so we feels that the kite is coming back to take rest actually it is because there is no wind or the wind has no force to help the kite to fly so it comes back even though you have in flown you might have seen flying kites there are many occasions or events in india which is associated with kite flying on independence day north indians used to fly kites usually they do it in my childhood days also i have seen uh, my peer groups or my brothers flying kites even though i have in flown kites but i have seen them flying kites it's a, a, such a wonderful sight to see it then i have uh, read it in a book also in a book titled the kite runner written by khalid husaini in that book also the narrator he celebrates that moment Cli uh, kite flying moment it is such an event there even in afghanistan okay let's come back to our lesson the poem written by harry ben so in the first part we told that the poet is describing the beauty of the kite is admiring the beauty of the kite the kite it looks so bright so beautiful so colorful when it is very really new and when it flies in the air in the blue sky it looks more beautiful it's such a wonderful sight to see then he describes the movement of the kites he says that it makes several dives and dips the first flight may not be very smooth so it makes several dives and dips in order to fly it uses both force and it also moves gently together then he compares the movement of the kite to the movement of a ship just like a ship when it floats on the waters it flows along with the fall and rise or rise and fall of the waves just like that the ship uh, the kite also makes several movements it also dives and dips in the air 
the first flight it may be difficult for the kite then it soars like a ship it fly high it rise so high and tries to reach the crest crest means topmost point with a gust gust means sudden rush of wind or with the force of the wind and pulls forward so with the help of the wind it moves forward then uh, the poet says that it may uh, when the kite when the wind falls when there is no wind or the wind has in force at that time we feel like the kite is still in the air it uh, flies still or it is still it lays still in the air we feel that the kite is not moving and we feel like it is taking rest in the air when there is no wind so when the string goes slack you wind it back string means the thread the thread to which the kite is attached when the string goes slack means loosen when the string gets loosen or when the string gets loose wind it means you coil it or you roll it back and run until a new breeze blows breeze means gentle wind soft wind not like the gust gust it is sudden wind wind with a force but the breeze is a gentle smooth wind so when the wind falls the kite becomes loose or the string gets loosened when the string gets loosened what does the flyer do the flyer the person who is flying the kites what does he do he runs along with the kite and tries to roll it back he tries to roll the thread back to make the kite so tight in the air the person who flies the kite he waits till a new breeze blows till that gentle wind comes and with the gentle wind it again rise high its wings get filled up the wings of the kite it gets filled up and up it goes and again it goes high into the air it soars high into the air how beautiful is a kite when it is new how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new then the poet says that but a ragged thing you never will see and the the poet says that after that suddenly if a kite if it struck on a tree if it hit on a tree or it, let it be anything it may it might be a pole or anything if it struck on a tree or hits on a tree it looks or its wings get torn it tear apart the wings the body of the kite it tear apart it gets torn or tattered so when it is torn it is not such a good thing to look at you never will see means you will not like to look at such a thing it becomes a ragged thing a worn out thing what do you mean by worn out worn out means uh, if something is overused uh, take in case of your dress if you wear a dress regularly it becomes so worn out out of overuse it becomes so old it looks so old that dress looks so old similarly the sky when it struck on a tree it becomes a ragged thing it becomes so worn out or torn so that's how the poet ends the poem at the end if it struck on a tree it becomes so bad thing to look at it becomes such a bad thing all the beauty is lost all the attractive is lost this case can also be taken in case of human beings even in the life of the human beings during our childhood days or uh, yeah in our childhood days we look so attractive so vibrant so active but when we become old we become so unattractive we will not be liked by everyone but as a child we will be loved by everyone so it uh, it can be compared to a human life also and in this poem the poet he uses a figure of speech simile what do you mean by simile simile is comparing two things which have similar qualities here the moment of the kite is compared to the moment of a ship how is the moment compared just like a ship floats with the rise and fall of the waves 
the kite also makes dives and dips in the air so even though the kite and the ship both are different things its qualities are compared one of its qualities are compared similar qualities are compared and we introduce simile in the poem or any sentences with like or as for example my little brother is as playful as kitten see i use the word as as playful as kitten means he is so playful and it is compared to a kitten or my mother sings like an angel so the voice of my uh, mother is compared to the voice of nightingale or any bird so if you introduce the words like or as it becomes simile you introduce the word like or as in order to compare the similar qualities of two things it is called a simile he ran as fast as a lightning again i have compared the movement of a person or the uh, movement of a person to a lightning so that's how you use similes so i hope you understood what is a simile and you also understood the poem clearly so try to work out the activities given in your text you have to list out the action words or identify the action words from the poem just like soars dive dip flies so you have to identify such words from the poem the second activity is it is based on simile some uh, sentences are given in your text you have to complete those sentences and that is the activity based on simile so that's all for today let's wind up the session see you in the next class